Hi everyone, this is the cutting pattern and fabric segment of these videos. Thank you so much for taking the time to do these. We, for this pattern, decided to try to make it as production friendly and easy as possible to make multiples. The pattern piece only has one piece. You can print this out at home. Mask option A and mask option B are identical patterns. The only difference is seam allowance for doing elastic or doing a tie. Any pattern you print out will have a two by two reference square on it to make sure for scaling on your computer. Make sure you print to actual size when printing it out to make sure you have the most accurate pattern. The portion of this I think that's probably the most confusing and I thought a video would be the best way to explain it would be to talk about the fabric needed for the mask. This is the, the intention is this is a triple layer mask. I am using some of the most heinous and loud fabric I could find so that it videos well. Um, right now, we are not advising fabric content in this video. This is more just to show each layer. So once you've got it on grain, go ahead and cut. Um, I am a little bit of a heathen from working in production for so long that I'm cutting all six layers right now. So once you have everything cut out, this would probably be the most complicated handling portion. We designed this, the, this to be a duckbill style mask, except it has no up or down to go around the face and to make it easier for production. We're going to consider this, the inner face portion. We're going to consider the plaid, our inner layer. And then we're going to consider the Halloween cats, my personal favorite, is going to be your outer layer. So once you have this done, the idea is that you sew one seam to join all of the layers together. To do this, it doesn't really matter where, as long as it's not on the outer or against the wearer's face. So I'm going to flip this like this, and then like this, so I've made a sandwich, and I'm going to go ahead and sew this seam. 